Uh, yeah, so I've played in, I think that's my second um, game with the draw, so um, yeah, it was sort of mixed emotions, sort of didn't know how to react, but um, I guess you've got to take two points and we'll go from there. Are you happy with just two points? Like, where do you yeah, no, it was, um, it was an um, unreal game, it was a good atmosphere and um, I thought we had it at the uh, last bit, I think it was like the last two goals they kicked um, to, I guess, get, 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 a, get a tie, but um, yeah, I thought we, we could have held on there and um, controlled the ball a bit better. For you, going back and playing at Adelaide Oval as well um, against your old team, what was that experience like for you? Uh, yeah, I think that's my second game back at Adelaide Oval um, against the Crows. Uh, um, yeah, it's always good to go play against them and against former teammates um, there. So, and um, the crowd was pretty um, rowdy as well. So, yeah, it was um, exciting. What was the reception like for you? Uh, yeah, I copped a few boos, but um, I guess it's normal. I guess it, it's all right. Bates was saying post-match that he was really proud the entire squad for how they held in there and you know he was really proud of how the youngsters stood up as well. Yeah, I guess yeah, well, I guess we had a lot of injuries um, the past couple of weeks so for a couple of young um, players come through, um, Shadow, Logan, Brucey, even Harry Sharp and them um, playing their role and we don't ask them to do too much but they yeah, just play their role and they've, they've done that last couple of weeks. Charlie Harris was saying yesterday that he's okay with the draw, that he, he, that he wouldn't want extra time during the regular season, do you agree? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on that. Um, I guess I've got to take it as it is, but I guess in finals it, it, you do play overtime, but I haven't done it yet, so um, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. So you're happy to, to leave it as a draw? You wouldn't want extra time? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Even you watch other codes, they do have overtime, so um, I guess for us it'll be longer, but yeah, it's a lot more time on the feet um, playing overtime, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it ha what happens. Bags was saying afterwards that if you did go into extra time, with you know you might have run out of petrol tickets yeah. because of the game before. And, and yeah, I think over the well, last couple of weeks um, it's been pretty tough, I guess, on the players. And I think playing, I think a couple like two weeks ago, blokes were playing 100% for three quarters. So um, and then on the weekend it was pretty solid again. Um, it was a tough game and quick. So yeah, I think everyone would have been spent both, on both sides. So what are you, uh, what are you expecting from the Tigers this week? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I guess they've had a lot of injuries, and I guess this week's um, the Sir Doug Nichols round. So looking forward to that um, um, with the jumper as well. So, but yeah, looking forward to a tight match, tight game. I guess they've had a lot of injuries, but um, so do we. So we're expecting their best. So how important is this game in terms of where you guys are on the uh, table? Yeah, I guess it's a must win for us. Um, like on the weekend, we're going in there with the mentality to win. So um, talk over two points with the draw was. Um, Still, I guess, sort of a win, but um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting the win this weekend against the quality side. It is a special weekend, it's a special uh, jumper. Yeah, well. yeah, so basically, a um, family member of mine from Mornington Island, so the Lardle community up in um, North Queensland, so um, a relative designed the jumper, and it's pretty special to have, I guess, a family member design it, and I guess having them come down on uh, Saturday. Um, to do some dancing and stuff in, for the crowd and especially on Friday um, they'll be doing a dance at the captain's run for the boys is pretty special and I'll be looking to I guess get involved and do the dance with them but yeah to, I guess have my community come down and showcase um, their culture or our culture sorry um, is exciting and um, yeah pretty special for, especially for myself. How much do you look forward to this round every year? Yeah it's always um, important I guess you get to I guess represent the jumper um, person who designs it, um, the, our culture and yeah, I guess you represent your people and the other players here so um, yeah, it's always special um, but I guess this one's fitting because it's um, someone from my community and get to represent my people. And playing back at the Gabba as well, you must have enjoyed that. Yeah, it's going to be um, enjoyable, um, looking to get another win there, um, try and get, get make that place a fortress again. I know we had three losses at the start of the year but um, we're, f we're finding our feet now at the Gabba and I'm um, looking forward to a good crowd there on Saturday night. And talking about Saturday night, what's the message from Fakes been, especially after a draw? Yeah, well, I guess we, we had a day off yesterday, so short week. Um, I guess just trying to bring energy this week on the train track, short turnaround um, with the travel as well. But, yeah, I think the boys are up and about and um, it starts today, I guess, getting around each other and bringing the energy. 
Charlie, what about your own form? Are you sort of happy with it you know, this season? Uh, not, uh, yeah, not, not happy with it. Um, just haven't been playing consistent footy and probably over the last few weeks just trying to go back to um, my focus areas, which is pressure and just bringing energy. And I felt like I brought that last two weeks and um, hasn't been shown on the scoreboard with the goal kicking, which is disappointing. Um, but I guess I've just got to keep working at it and just keep bringing back to those focus areas of just bringing pressure and then letting my game evolve up after that. Is it like sort of, you know, getting, getting, getting more, more sort, of like, sort of like up the field as well? Uh, yeah, I've been trying to get up the field, but I guess when the ball comes inside 50, just bringing the pressure, um, I guess that's my role. Um, with Link going down at the moment, we lose another small forward and pressure in the forward line, so trying to bring that every week. But, yeah, I've just tried to narrow my focus and just trying to keep it simple. Um, I think I was overthinking over the first couple of weeks, um, sort of playing my mind. But, yeah, I've just tried to get back to narrowing my focus um, and just keeping it simple. And how are the injured boys? Just see Link and sort of, you know, you know, Darcy after the other day. Yeah, I think the... I think they're having surgery this week, so um, yeah, we'll get around them, um, support them, um, especially like Tommy today, Kitty Coleman this year. So we're getting around them, like we've got around them. Sorry, um, yeah, it's tough to lose against you two um, older, experienced players, and um, it'll be uh, especially in the forward line and with their role around the team. But yeah, we've got some young players coming through that are exciting, and um, hopefully they can fill their role or play their role. I guess. Is that a chance to come back to come back this week? Uh, I think it's too early, I'm not sure, I can't really comment on that. Um, yeah, I guess it's speak to high performance, but I can't really comment on that too much. Charlie, speaking about your form, looking at your stats over the last few years, it has been, um, hasn't been as good, I guess, as the last few years. So yeah. Over, over <coughs> yeah. What do you need to do to improve on that? Oh, I think just keeping it simple. Um, like I said, just bringing the pressure, I think. That, that gets me involved early um, with pressure and then obviously offence stuff, just keeping it simple, especially with goal kicking. I think I was thinking too much about it, a lot of things and just worrying about the outcomes instead of my process, with especially goal kicking. But, yeah, I think hopefully it will start clicking soon. Hopefully this week it can kick off. But, yeah, I've just got to keep, keep at it and just keep believing myself. When you say overthinking, is it like just a matter of slowing things down? Uh, I think, yeah, just too many things in my mind. Uh, I've got a lot of things going on, but uh, yeah, like I said, just keeping it simple and having a, I guess, a small process, yeah. What's Cal uh, said about his four goals? Yeah, Cal was um, exciting the weekend, stood up. Um, he's been playing on the wing um, uh, over the last couple, before he got injured, so um, <clears throat> for him to play forward on the weekend was um, critical in his contest in the air and on the ground um, was, um, was unreal and, um, and he was able to get rewarded on the scoreboard and then hopefully this week he can bring that same sort of um, energy and for the contest and on the ground so yeah and he got rewarded with the goals thank you thank you have a good day Appreciate it.